Hello everyone and welcome to another YouTube video. Um, in this video I will um, talk about data watchers. Now in relation to Minecraft mobs you may have noticed there are mob behaviors which you cannot easily get access to within the regular Java class. However, with the use of reflection to modify the entity's data watcher, you will be able to forcefully make the mobs behave in a certain way. What I mean by this is, um, for example, with horses, you cannot make them eat or make them rear from within the regular Java class. However, with the, with the help of reflections and data watchers, you will be able to forcefully make them rear or eat. Now, if we were to look into the uh, the for entity horse abstract, which is that entity horse is extends, we can see that there are two data watchers. Now, what we want to get access to is the data watcher byte, the BL. So, what we do. Whoops. So what we do is set up command call that as a source and let's bring another command which will then change the voice. Change. Alright. So start off by Creating entity horse, horse is equal to new entity horse, and then entity types is going to be horse. Oops, and let's visualize the layer variable. Alright, so we want to get the world from the player. Get world. Should be the craft world. Craft world. The reason for this is we want to get the NMS world. So what we do is we put that that brackets and the movement craft world. And then we get the handle. Get handle. Super. And now we want to put the horse's location uh, to be at where the player is. So we say set position, and this is initialize initialize a location put there. There we go. And in the implement location. So location dot get x location dot get y get excellent so as we saw earlier in the entity horse abstract which is the class that entity horse extends we have a data watcher object called bl so let's just go ahead and copy that one and let's put it in parentheses in our main class Put in common. All right. So now, what we want to do is we want to get access to that field. So what we do is we create a field. It's called field. And then this field here is located within the entity horse abstract. However, entity horse extends that class, and therefore, as a result, we're able to get access to that field. So let's say entity horse abstract abstract dot class that I can get declare field and it's called BL. The field is called BL. Then we want to import the Java library for it. And we should also put it in a try catch. Try mode side catch. Okay, so we would not want to put to make the field accessible as it is or as it has a private access modifier. So that's true. 
then we can say data, data watch object by let's call it data watcher is equal to we put it in parenthesis object. Right. I believe you need to import this one real quick. Watch your objects. Alright, alright, alright. See what's wrong here. Cool. Now we say field dot get and what we need to get from it is of course. As we notice we have uh, gotten the field from entity horse abstract and we're getting it from the horse class, entity horse class. And this is allowed as as mentioned, horse has entity horse abstract has its extended class. And then surround with ex add exceptions to existing catch cross. Alright? And then you can say horse dot get data watcher dot set and we want the data watcher here to be set to and um, so in relation to horses in Minecraft uh, there are specific bytes which tells the game what exactly the horse is doing so for example if the byte is 0 0.3 I believe it will be it will tell the game that it is rearing. So that is what we're aiming for. So let's put that at right. six thirty. <laughs> okay. And that should do the trick. Actually, let's just put these two in different commands. Let's put this static. That one, and then we copy all this here. Put it down here. Oh, this problem. I need to add it to the world. Craft world. Clear. Get world. Get handle. Dot add. Entity, and we want to add this. Now. Should be ready. And we look. Alright. Let's pull the horse. And let's make it weird. Look at that. That is amazing. And you're not only able to do this with horses, um, there are, uh, I believe almost every mob has, or every mob has a data watcher, has a data watcher to some extent. And um, I'll put a link in the description of where you can get access to all the data, data watchers and see which mobs have which data watchers and what they do. Thank you for watching.